Find the equation of the line passing through the point with coordinates minus 4, 7 and 5, minus 9. So first of all write down the coordinates minus 4, 7 and 5, minus 9. And what you should do is write underneath each one x1, y1, x2, y2. And the reason for doing that is that you can then apply the formula that you should know. So first of all we will need to know the gradient of the line. So the, finding the gradient of the line using m is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So we're going to get, now you need to be careful here because we've got negative signs. So we've got minus 9 minus y1 which is minus 7 and then 5 minus minus 4. So be careful with negative signs. Minus 9 minus 7 gives me minus 16 and then 5 minus minus 4 is like 5 plus 4 which is 9 so that's the gradient right having done that we can now find the equation of the line using y minus y1 is equal to m brackets x minus x1 now you can use this one or this one it doesn't matter you only need to use one of them so we're going to keep things simple and just use this one here that we have already labeled x1 y1 and this is obviously m Substituting in, so we've got y minus y1, which is 7, is equal to the gradient, which is minus 16 over 9, brackets x minus minus 4. And again, you need to be careful with signs. Because we've got a fraction here, the easiest thing to do is to take the 9 and bring it up here. So multiplying both sides by 9, we get 9 brackets y minus 7 is equal to minus 16. Now x minus minus is plus Four. We need to be very careful with signs here as well. Expanding the brackets, we get nine x nine y sorry minus nine times minus seven, which is minus sixty three minus sixteen x, and then again the sign's going to change again. So we get minus sixteen times plus four, which is minus sixty four. Then we're going to take sixteen x plus nine y, and then if we add 64, we're just going to get plus 1 is equal to 0. So the equation of that line is 16x plus 9y plus 1 is equal to 0. This would be the best format to write it in for this particular question. Okay, this has been a video to show you how to find the equation of a line passing through points, points where we know the two coordinates. I hope you've understood, and I thank you very much for watching.